When I was about four years old, my aunt asked me once what color I was. With a big smile, I answered black and white. I'm different. I'm mixed up with different colors. Hello and welcome to my TEDx talk. Today, I'd like to discuss racism with you. I'd like first to gain a better understanding of racial inequalities throughout history, how they're still an important issue now, and how one day we could live in a world free of discrimination. My name is Aaron Matamora Rodriguez. My mom is white and Hispanic, and my dad is black. I grew up in a very diverse environment, with some family members and friends being black, others white or Asian, and with a wide range of skin tones. When I started nursery, throughout my first years of primary school, I was surrounded by people from many different backgrounds. I had the privilege to grow up in such a multicultural environment. In the 1940s, psychologist Kenneth and Mamie Clark conducted a series of experiments known as the Dahl Test. This was a psychological experiment to see how prejudice, discrimination, and racism affect the lives of black children. In this experiment, they used four identical dolls, each with different skin color. Then the children aged three to seven were asked questions about the dolls. The result of this experiment at that time was shocking. The children had a negative self-image and knew that they were different. They had internalized the negative stereotype of the society and rejected the brown dolls. They felt inadequate and inferior due to their own darker skin tone. Kenneth and Mamie Clark believed the real change could be possible with education. Adults should teach their children to respect their fellow human beings. After the doll test, many different versions of this experiment were conducted. All of them were with similar results. The white doll was considered good, and the black doll was considered bad. Many people have a basic concept of what racism is and can give you a reasonable explanation for why it happens. If we look back in history, slavery has been a major form of racism since the 16th century. It dominated society for over 300 years. Towards the end of the 19th century, systematic racism was established by the authorities. With the Jim Crow laws in the southern United States and South Africa, racial segregation was imposed. Some minor forms of racism include communications that are harsh, insensitive, and intentional that will most likely degrade a person's racial background, or a joke which is unintentionally discriminatory. But fast forward to the 20th century. Slavery was already abolished, and particularly in the United States, the Civil Rights Movement was making historical contributions towards more equality. The influence of media, and particularly social media from a very young age, leaves in our subconscious these prejudices that we all have. Just think of all the movies you've watched. Too often the criminal or nemesis has a darker skin tone, maybe black or Latino, the good guy or millionaire is white, and the smart mathematician is Asian. If we have a look at stereotypes in women, the pretty and blonde girl is usually the unintelligent one, and the bigger or uglier character is usually considered to be the funny one. We are not aware that we are exposed to these prejudices every day. There are simplifications that we need to eliminate, and I am convinced we can get rid of them through our actions. How? Let me tell you. A lot of people seem to be interested in taking a DNA test to gain more information about their ancestry. This has been a recent trend on social media and the internet. The results seem to be consistent. A blend of countries, cultures, and continents represent everyone. That's exactly what we are composed of. If our blood is in a way multicultural, then why can't we just accept people for how they are? Even with major progress, racial inequality and racism still exist in many, in many nations worldwide, affecting countless lives and human rights. Just look around you in your neighborhood or city. Have you ever, saw, have you ever seen someone crossing the street to get away from foreign-looking people? Or have you ever heard someone using derogatory language towards someone for maybe some, wearing some sort of religious clothing, well, I have, and far too often. What can you do today? For example, show a keen interest in the background of your friends and classmates, be curious and learn more about where they come from, include different people in your games, expand your circle of friends, show kindness towards those who are different, educate yourself on the history and culture of other places. But most importantly, we must get rid of discrimination in our world, and that only works if each and every one of us leads by example. 
I will make the everyday decision to accept others as they are, no matter their skin color, religion, language, or any other aspect. It is up to you to change for a better future. Let us fight against false and harmful prejudices. I believe in the future free of racial inequalities and that we all must take a step towards it. And as Rose Parks said, I believe there's only one race, the human race. Thank you.